Hello and welcome to our Common Application Workshop. My name is Emily Burt and I am the Transfer Center Coordinator at Solano Community College. This presentation will guide you through the steps to fill out the Common Application, which is used by many private and out-of-state schools. So, who should fill out the Common Application? If you're applying to multiple private and or out-of-state institutions, filling out the Common Application is a good choice. It will allow you to apply for many schools, all within one application. If you're only applying to one school that uses the Common Application, but they also offer their own application on their website, it may make more sense to fill out the application specific to that particular school. Here's what you will need to fill out the Common Application. Copies of your college transcripts, any test scores, for instance, AP, IB, SAT, and any information about experiences you have that will add to your application. These could be work experiences, internships, projects, volunteer experiences, etc. Anything that will make you stand out as an applicant to these colleges. So let's move on to the application. Please be sure to take great care in filling out your application as any mistakes could hurt your chances of being admitted. First step, create your profile. Please use an email that is permanent and that you will check often. You will want to check this email throughout the process as it is the most common way that schools will send you information. Be sure to include accurate information in your extended profile. For instance, make sure that the number of units you select include any future units you will earn before transferring. At many schools, an associate's degree is not required in order to transfer. Check the admissions requirements for each university you have chosen. Here is where you will select the programs you will apply to. Be sure to select the correct semester. You will notice that the application fees will be different depending on the colleges you select. Did you accidentally select a university that you are not interested in attending? Select the Selected Programs tab and click on the X next to the name of the university or college to remove it from your application. The application is broken down into four sections. Personal information, academic history, supporting information, and program materials. This will look very familiar to you if you have filled out the California State University application. For the most part, the personal information section should be relatively straightforward. One thing to note in this section is your communication preferences. Make sure that you are okay with receiving information from both colleges and the common application. The Academic History tab is where you will enter information about each college you have attended. This can take minutes or hours depending on the amount of colleges you have attended, the amount of credits you have earned, and the application requirements of the individual programs. Here is where you will enter all of the colleges you have attended. Be sure to include accurate information about whether you have or will receive an associate's degree and which degree you are pursuing or were awarded. Just so you know, there's no minors at Solano Community College. Once you have entered your colleges, you can review the requirements for each school. Each school will have different policies in regards to transcripts. For details about this, you can click on the Why am I being asked for this link. Some schools will require official transcripts. You can utilize the Order link in order to send them to the school. Some schools will only require that you upload a copy of your unofficial transcript. To find your Solano unofficial transcript, log into your My Solano account. Then click on the Student button on the left-hand menu. Scroll to the Transcripts section and select Unofficial Transcripts. Then save a copy to your computer and upload it to your application. You will need to submit transcripts from each school that you have attended, not just Solano. Once you hit the College Coursework tab, one of two things can happen. If you're lucky, you will see that you do not need to enter any coursework. If you see that your program requires full transcript entry, you will need to enter coursework from all schools you have attended. I recommend printing out a copy of your unofficial transcript so you can easily check off which courses you have entered. Luckily, I encountered very few schools that require transcript entry. 
If you are required to enter your coursework, this is a long process and it is important that the information is accurate. To determine your class level, please use increments of 30. For instance, 1 through 30 is freshman, 30 through 60 units is sophomore, and so on. Make sure to list the completion status as completed for any semester you have completed and in progress slash plan for any courses that you are currently enrolled in or are planning to take in the future. For individual course entry, again, Accuracy is very important. Make sure to enter course titles and numbers as they appear on your transcript. Choose the subject from the drop-down menu that best matches the class you took. If there is nothing that matches your course, you can select Special Topics. However, most classes should have a subject that is close. Enter AP scores if you have set your scores to Solano. Solano does not post individual AP scores to transcripts, so you will need to use the AP chart on the website to assign units. This is an example of how you could enter your test credit on the course entry section. Select Test Credit on the subject drop-down menu and type CR as the grade. This would be the same process you would use to enter IB credits. You can find a chart that lists how Solano awards credit for AP scores on the Admissions and Records website under Policies, and then by clicking CEEB Exams. Once you have entered everything into your course entry, you will be asked to review and finalize your transcripts. You will be asked a series of questions about your academic history. You will need to select any courses you have repeated. In the example, you can see that this student took Music 2 twice. To select both courses, click the plus sign next to the course. Do this for any and all classes that you have repeated. You will also be asked to select your AP coursework from your course entry. Again, click the plus sign next to the test to add the AP scores. Other questions moving forward in Review and Finalize will ask about things like honors classes or study abroad coursework. Make sure to provide accurate answers to these questions. Everyone will need to enter the GPA for all colleges they have attended. You can find information about credit hours and GPA on your unofficial transcript. Enter tests if you have taken them. Otherwise, select that you are not adding tests or select zero on the drop-down menu. Enter your AP tests or IB tests even if you included them on your transcript entry section. Check whether test scores, such as the SAT, are required on the admission website for the schools you are applying to. In the Supporting Information section, add any relevant information. Do not discount work experience. Include anything that makes you uniquely you. Many colleges use this information as part of a holistic review process, and you never know whether your personal experiences might give you an advantage over another candidate. For assistance with summarizing or choosing experiences, please visit the Transfer Center or the Career Center for assistance. Review any program materials requests from universities or colleges. Each program may require different documents, questions, or recommendations. Be sure to follow any instructions and answer any questions carefully. You can see, for instance, that University of Arizona includes information about how to be considered as a transfer student, plus tabs for documents and questions. Some schools require letters of recommendation. The application will indicate whether they are required and what type of recommendations you should request. Academic generally means from an instructor. Many students wonder whether they should include a letter of recommendation if it's not required. A letter from an instructor or counselor who is familiar with you and can speak to your potential as a university student can never hurt your application. For each recommender, you will need to create a recommendation request. Make sure to include an accurate email address for the recommender and a correct due date. Please ask your recommenders well in advance for a letter of recommendation. It is impolite to wait until the last minute, and it does not give them adequate time to write a thoughtful letter. 
always request this letter by email or in person and wait for them to agree before creating a recommendation request. This should not be your first contact with them. In your personal message, thank them for their time and include any instructions that were given by the university on what is to be included in the letter. Be sure to review the document section as some colleges may require a personal statement, a CV, or a resume. Some students wonder if they should attach documents if they are not required by the university or college. Again, a well-written personal statement or resume can never hurt your application. The Career Center is a great resource to receive help writing a resume, CV, or personal statement. Some colleges will ask additional questions related to your application. Again, accuracy is key. Finally, you will be ready to submit your application. You cannot click Submit until all required sections are completed. Once you submit your application, continue to monitor your email for information and updates from the schools to which you applied. Questions? Please visit the Transfer Center. We are located in the 400 building in room 402. Our hours can be found online at solano.edu transfer.